Hi there, welcome to BI Consulting Pro. In this quick video, I'm going to talk about paginated reports. Microsoft has recently released one very important feature that might be very useful for you. Before that, whenever a Power BI developer was creating any paginated report, they were facing a kind of challenge when they have to combine data from the different sources or how to do it in a paginated report, which is very similar to the SSRS report or SQL Server reporting services. Well, this feature is still in preview, but you can try it out. So if you want to know more about this feature, please stay tuned with me till the end of this video and I'm going to let you know everything about it. If you are over here for the very first time, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also hit the bell icon so that you always stay updated with our latest videos and updates. Now, without any further ado, let's get started. Alright guys, now you can see my screen over here. I have downloaded this latest version of uh, Power BI Report Builder. So this Power BI Report Builder is going to let you create paginated reports. If you don't know how to download it or you don't know what is it, please leave me a comment in the comment section and we are going to create a separate video for that. Now, once you are over here, you would see that you have the different options. But before trying any of these options, what I recommend you please sign in with your organization's account where you are going to sign in using your basically Power BI account. So that should be Power BI Premium because Microsoft Paginated Report is a part of Power BI Premium or you can also avail them with SQL Server license where you have to get SA, that is Software Assurance License Extra with the SQL Server license. So I'm not going to go into that one, but we are going to talk about over here. So what is that feature? Well, if you are using Power BI service, that means the Power BI Cloud services, then you must be aware about the Power Query. If you don't know about the Power Query, please check the link in the description section. We have created all the free tutorials on Power Query. You can watch those and definitely you can learn them. But now let's move forward and see what is this feature actually. So when you have to connect to any of the data, either you have to come here, you have to get data or you have to add Power BI semantic model connection. For example, I'm over here and I'm trying to get data from my Power BI semantic model. It's going to take a while and it's going to sign in. Then I have my different workspaces. I can pick any of the data set over there and I can connect. But we are not going to talk about this feature that how you can take the leverage of Power BI data sets that you already have inside your organization and you can create paginated reports on the top of that. What we are trying to get over here is about this get data option. So what I'll recommend you please come here under this data tab and here you would find get data which is in preview. It's exactly the same what you usually get in Power BI Desktop app. Whenever you have to combine the data from the different sources, you have to get the data, you have to get in the different modes. So what what is changed over here? So what has been changed over here? Well, first of all, this is in preview. So Microsoft takes no guarantee. There can be some more changes. Maybe they are going to revert it back, but definitely it's going to be there. So don't worry about the revert back. So Microsoft has released this feature in preview so you can try it out yourself so click over here and you are going to get the exactly the same interface that you get in microsoft power bi desktop app that means you can get data from any number of data sources you can click on this view more option and here you have list of all the data sources that you can get data and now you can combine them that means you can get the data from the multiple sources you can apply the different joints between the table you don't need to write any complex expressions inside your paginated report so what I'm trying to say over here, that for example, you want to get a data from text or CSV, you can directly click over here. You want to get the data from data marks, you can click over here. You want to get the data from a lake house, simply click here. You have to name your connection over there. You have to create your connection. Then you have to also select your data gateway over here, but I'm not going to select over here. Then you have to simply sign in with your organization account. As soon as you are going to sign in over here, then it's going to take you over there and then you can connect your data warehouse as well. That means whether you have Microsoft Fabric Platform, Power Platform, or any other data source such as Databricks, Snowflake, or maybe your text to CSV files or Excel files, everything you can connect over here. Now I have signed in over here into my Microsoft Fabric. I can click next. And here I have my all the Fabric workspaces. So I can simply come any of those workspaces. I can click on this adventure works. So let me see if I have any of the data over there. So now I have my all the tables over here. So let's say I just want to connect with this orders one. So this is going to be my table. And if I would like to select any other one as well, I can do that too, but I'm not going to do it over here. So I'm going to simply click next to the transform. So this is going to be the same experience that you get it when you are working with the Power Query or whenever you are trying to combine the data from the different data sources in Microsoft Power BI Desktop or Microsoft Power BI Services, then simply click Create 
and your data source has been clicked, created successfully over here. This is your through Power Query and these are my all the fields that you can drag and drop and you can start working with that. Isn't it amazing guys? So tell me, what do you really think about this feature? Is it going to be a game changer in order to create pagination reports? It's going to solve a lot of other problems, etc. We are looking forward to get your feedback on that. And also let us know if you are missing something over there. That's it guys for this video. If you would like to know more something about this, please do let us know in the comment section. If you have any question and concern, then also please approach us. If you are looking for any Microsoft Power BI and Microsoft Fabric training programs, please do contact us. And not only that, if you are looking for any consulting services, you can approach us. Till then, please keep learning and I'm going to see you in the next video.